this road is 129 and I don't know if you can see up there Northeast 4th Street and that's where the campgrounds loaded I'm the, at the entrance and I want to take you as if we were coming in see up there Strawberry Fields RV Park I'm gonna probably pedal for most of this maybe not and this is the entrance This office right there, we're gonna go right. Like we're going to the office. That cat grounds 10 miles per hour, and that's what I've got pedal assist three set to more or less 10 miles per hour and that's the office that's when it says office and these arrows here are we pulled up to right here now we are down there on c4 but i'm going to take you around Hopefully the camera's auto wind canceling works okay. I didn't add it thinking that I wouldn't be going that fast, but there's always a breeze here and at the last campground. I guess that's par for the course anytime time you're around the Gulf. But these are all just like this. They're sites with a little bit of grass in between. Uh, paved asphalt for the whole thing. Here's a covered one. I didn't see that one before. But I won't go down each and every one of these, but more or less I'll go down every other one. Hey. No trees. No flare, no grills, no picnic tables. Just a flat spot, more or less, to park. And that's okay at times. It's okay at times. And I don't know where all these people are going. We've been in the Cedar Key two times now. We're going again tomorrow. These RVs are not overnighters. I'm gonna go down and see because this is where we are. But these RVers are not overnighters because I don't see them going. And there is hardly nothing in Chiefland at all. That's my truck right there, silver with the reflection right there. That's us. So I don't know why all these 
our campers are doing here, these RVs. I'm pretty sure it's a little too expensive to be homesteading here. They might have a weekly or monthly rate, I don't know. I guess I could ask him, that's being a little nosy. <laughs> That car back there had, uh, it was full of clothes. That must be the campground host. Deserted, doesn't it? Set up makes you think that people are out working. sites back there. I didn't notice them before because I haven't been through the park yet. I'm going to try to do these rides through the park everywhere we stop so others can see what I see. I'll go down two roads this time. You can kind of tell there's not much else to it. without pads how about that and tall grass underneath them meaning they've been parked there a while here tall of grass these these people have been here a while and these have to be discounted sites because there's no asphalt level I could ask how are these sites different than up there but I don't care enough <laughs> to be that nosy <laughs> all right I think they've been there I got a shed it may be another campground host trees and gardens. Look at that. Some gardens there. Garden stuff. Peas. Green beans. Oh, 
I've got enough asphalt pads, I guess, for this area. Like I was saying, it's uh, Chiefland. There's not anything there, really. Nothing of attraction. I can't recommend any restaurant in Chiefland. I've been to most of the ones that were on the... Hey! Most of the ones are on the... Uh, Places to eat, quote unquote, places to eat in Schlieffland, Florida. I won't name names, but none of them were worth a darn. But there are a couple good ones in Cedar Key. Really good. I'm going to go down this line since I saw a uh, reflection like ours. And then we'll go back, pick up my wife. She's going to want to. ride a little bit too since it's flat there's a reflection up there on the left looks like about the same year also a 303 a lot of plants in it though. Maybe even landscape the corner there. Long term. This is long term. I hope it's because people aren't can't find a home so they're resorting to living in RVs. That's kind of sad to think about. to raise kids in something like this. But, I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, well that's pretty much it head back to the RV. Nothing real exciting about this campground. It's just parking spots. But they're decent parking spots. And here we are. You see at the bottom of mine I planted some tomatoes. I'm a gardener. I usually take stuff with me everywhere I go, and those are been down a little bit. Spring garden tomatoes and peppers and eggplants. Let me go get my wife. This is Brent. We'll see you later at the next campground. How long do we gotta stay?